what we are looking at off to my right is the outcome of a particular diet in reference to two groups of individuals, a control group and the intervention group. Now, before I proceed, keep in mind, people are pretty attached to their diets, emotionally, uh, somewhat, you can say. This is just the outcome of this one particular diet. A very, very easy to follow diet over a period of 16 weeks. So, let's not overcomplicate it. Let's get the individuals who need the help and assistance now, and as they progress and educate themselves, modify that diet according to any particular studies or basically preferences. But this is a low fat, vegan diet. Even I do dairy, but I'm a vegetarian. So let's say it's tweaked, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna keep it strictly to the outcome and the dietary parameters in the methods that they utilize as proceed as follows. Look at these outcomes. And this is why it's tough to argue. Pl fasting plasma insulin concentrations decreased by 21.6 picomoles. Now, pica, pico, I know. Postprandial metabolism, complicated medical terminology. We're gonna to go to the simplified version in a little bit, but it's important that we read from the full study so we can get our bearing. Expenditure, the thermic effect of food increased by 18.7% just after 16 weeks, 16 weeks. Hepatocellular lipid content, fat in the liver, decreased in the intervention group by 34.4%, 16 weeks. The intramyocellular lipid levels, not as important to some, but still very important in reference to insulin and things and such like that, decreased 10.4%. All right, let's get right into the full study as follows. This is what I'm trying to say. When you have an outcome like this, and you have individuals in need of direction, let's not complicate it right off the bat. Let's just get them on something that works, where they can have incredible outcome results like this, which creates an incredible encouragement. People do want to do the right thing, just not certain if they're on the right path. You got a path like this, you get results like this, let's take the simple route first, and again, modify later on. But to proceed as follows. Plant-based diet ramps up metabolism according to a new study. Plant-based participants increased after meal calorie burn by 18.7% in just 16 weeks, produced or conducted by the Physicians Committee uh, for responsible medicine. It's a randomized trial, so keep that in mind. The study randomly assigned participants who were overweight and had no history of diabetes to an intervention or intervention or control group in a one-to-one -one ratio for 16 weeks, as we stated over and over again. And participants in the intervention group followed a low-fat, plant-based diet based on fruits, vegetables, whole grains, again, whole grains, not refined or heavily processed, whole grains like used to exist 100 years ago, and legumes with no calorie limit. That's the beautiful part about this. We're looking at a diet where people aren't measuring and doing this and that and so on and so forth. All they're doing is sticking basically to this diet, a vegan diet, with no calorie limit. So that gives beautiful direction for people just starting to basically move into this direction without overcomplicating and having books and this and that, unless it's a cookbook, uh, but something they can follow, which are confident they can have good results. The control group made no diet changes, neither group changed exercise or medication routines unless directed by their personal doctors. All right, now let's proceed to the public release form before we go back to the um, full study, the abstract, more technical version. Within just 16 weeks, I'm just gonna read the highlights. 16 weeks in the plant-based group, they lowered their body weight by 6.4 kilograms or about 14 pounds on average. Those in a plant-based group reduced their fat inside the liver, hepatocellular, hepatocellular and intramyocellular sorry, muscle cells by 34% and 10% or 10.4% if you want to be precise, uh, respectively. While the control group did not. Basically, the plant-based group decreased their fasting plasma insulin concentration by 21.6 Pico moles, I'm sorry, I just can't resist. And insulin resistant and increased insulin sensitivity, all positive results. The plant-based group also reduced total and LDL cholesterol by 19.3 milligrams deciliter and 15.5 respectively with no significant changes in the control group. I love this comment by the individual, uh, one of the study participants. Quote, I plan to stay on this diet for good, 
not just for 16 weeks, but for life. Report study participant, Sam T, who lost 34 pounds and improved, sounds like a testimonial, improved, which it is, uh, his metabolism during the 16-week study. Since the study has concluded, Sam has continued a plant-based diet, reached his goal weight, and began running half marathons and marathons. Keep in mind, these are individuals who started the study. They weren't diabetic, but they were obese. This is the result. This is the outcome. This is the mental motivation, also part of that outcome, which is vital because it's such an incredibly easy diet to follow. But let's get a little bit more into detail. Uh, again, the supplemental information and all that stuff goes into the methods, methodology, the measurements, so on and so forth. But this part's vital, so I'm going to pull this out of the supplemental information. Quote, says, basically, participants were encouraged to select those retaining their natural fiber and had a glycemic index of below 70. So what ended up happening is when they went on this vegan diet, a couple of things happened. One is they were consuming about 30 to 40 grams of fiber per day. But also, too, as you read through the details of the study, even though there was no calorie restrictions in reference to the diet, they weren't as hungry and they did not consume as much. Something to think about. Because fiber and other elements like that, and your blood sugars are under better control, they're not bouncing up and down. You're not like going into hypoglycemia, and you're not feeling, how would you say, unsatiated? Uh, tends to help reduce that need to constantly eat without those spikes going back and forth. So again, there's a lot to say about this one particular diet, which is a great, great diet for those just wanting to get something, to get an outcome that's extremely beneficial as is. Now, what I'm going to do too is I have a link to the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine because they have great sections in reference to the vegan. Because I know an immediate question is going to be, where is this diet? What is this vegan diet? Well, it was not any particular diet per se. It was just recommendations uh, from basically other dietary or dietitian groups. So, like for example here, you have the vegan diet for the ultra athlete and you can break it down. So I'm gonna give you a link to the Physicians Committee uh, for Responsible Medicine, not a promotion or anything like that, so you can get an idea of what they imply by vegan uh, and whom they apply it for and they have recipes and so on and so forth that can help an individual on the way. And they, from there, you can see where they receive their information in reference to that particular diet itself. But phenomenal, phenomenal. So with that in mind, we'll have a link to the full study so you can read through it on your own, as well as a link to the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. And I'm going to link it to a direct page, the personal health section in reference to the vegan diet. So it's easier, so you don't have to search through a bunch of information. At least it gets you a good start. Again, not a competition between which diet is the best, which one's the worst, so on and so forth, or historical, epidemiological wise, or Mediterranean, so on and so forth. Just something that could get an individual results confidently in such a way that it can inspire them to improve their diet into other arenas later on down the road as they tweak it for their own personal needs. Again, Ralph Church Channel signing off. Gratitude. Thank you for listening. I look forward to seeing you once again in seven days. Keep in mind during the weekend, I'm holding, holding a lot of the COVID stuff as far as coronavirus stuff. Uh, the studies and research on the Saturday or Sunday morning uh, for us to review through data analytics. So if you want to basically understand to see if your local politician or bureaucrat actually understands how to read data, well, Saturday or Sunday morning is the time that we do that. Again, as always, though, regardless, gratitude. Thank you. I look forward to see you all once again. Links below. Catch you next time. Bye.